Thank you. Ooh, Barracuda. You can't skip any of this yet. Honestly, this is one of the games I wish that we that like I could modify. I wish I could take like a bunch of unskippable shit out of it. And um, the big thing I wish that I could change is this sound right here. This is not a pleasant sound. So there's not a lot that you can change by doing any of what I'm doing right now, but it, it does have a tiny impact on what happens, or how fast it happens, rather. A lot of times save in this game can be achieved simply from knowing what QTE is coming. Like that. Knowing that that's coming is really important. Because if you get caught in the middle of an animation, then it takes a little bit longer for you to be able to do that QTE. Um, scenes that have this magical introductory, introductory text right here, uh, the solid white text for whatever is a, like a magical thing that makes things unskippable, and I hate it. Is Osura, you are correct. So, the worst thing about this run is this awful sound right here. Because we're going to hear a lot of it. Oh, and on the 360, it's extremely laggy. Like, even to the point to where, like, when you mash out things, you actually have to do it at a very specific speed in order to uh, get the most out of it. Yeah, if I could modify this game, I would get rid of that sound. That's, like, the number one thing that I would change about this game is I would get rid of that sound. Oh, this game doesn't, like, nothing about this game even suggests that there is a function to skip uh, cutscenes. I got to the point to where I no longer hear the noise. Like, I mean, I hear it, but, like, it doesn't bother me nearly like it used to.
But yeah, there's a lot of mechanics in this game that have actually been discovered, or rather I discovered since um, my last PB, and despite that I have not been able to PB again. Dodges are bad for speedruns. In fact, there's a dodge later in the game that if you if you just go ahead and accept the first hit coming through, then it saves like 48 seconds. It's a big deal. These only save a few seconds. One. Two. Wow, I don't normally get hit at all right here, but three. Yo, what's up? Overkill. So. Those synchro Y attacks right there, you actually want to hit those as early as possible because the way that Osiris Wrath works is it loads in the background. And the sooner that you clear whatever the current actions are, the sooner it gets along to loading in the background. But yeah, a lot of the QTEs in this game don't even have to be done. A lot of them, like, the exact same actions will happen. Or a lot of them, you know, even if you fell it and Osara gets hit, the only thing that will change is the score that you get at the end of the segment. That feel and suffering. So funny enough... Um, at this point in the game, they're, like the tutorial part has not happened yet, and because of that, you're not actually expected to follow any of the rules because you, you know, ostensibly have not been told what the rules are yet. So we're just gonna spam overcharge attacks. Also, what up, Frofro? Yo, Fro, did you see any of that? Did you look at that shit that I sent you? That shit is fucking ridiculous. What, boss? By the way, this is one hand. Oh, except for all the lag. Thanks, game. I really need to get like a 1X or a Series X to get rid of all of this lag. Mike Cobb. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, okay, to be fair, that was better than my guess. <laughs> like, real talk, I don't think that there's anything wrong with Maximilian Dude's content so much as it's not any different from, like, content you can get basically anywhere. I don't understand how he has, like... Like, a 7,000 viewer average is low for this dude, but somehow...
What it is, is it's like the most heavily, obviously cheated shit I've seen in my life. And it's, it's actually funny. So the funniest part about his Arena New Game Plus kick me sign quote unquote run is on top of it being ridiculously obvious that he cheated it, and sped up the footage and all of that shit. His sped up edited footage is not faster than my uh, than my with loads time on my PB. Ah, I got an AoE spin, that's no good. Ah. This whole thing has gone wrong. Like, really, really wrong. So for whatever reason, in this spot right here, that's what you're looking for is the singles. In this section right here, you get back your cooldown really, really, really quickly. <laughs> yeah, dude, that comment, like, that fucking straight ended me, dude. Like, uh, it's, it's really starting to look like any god hand footage that comes out of India is just not to be trusted. And dude, like, so there was a run submitted to the leaderboard a long time ago by Memory Hunter, and I rejected that run because it was on emulator, but it was on emulator with, like, really bad video settings. So as a result, the, like, the level that you fight gold and silver in, for example, um, just straight up doesn't display correctly. It just, like, there's, there's no walls for a decent amount of it or there's no floor i don't remember something's all fucked up about it and i rejected it just because you know it was it was way too wrong it was way 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 too incorrect and <laughs> found out today that he has world record on the thumbnail and it wasn't even a competitive time when he posted that shit So, funny thing about the way that this game works with rage mechanics is that you don't even need to be, like, hitting the correct thing in order to get rage. You don't need, like, it doesn't have any differential between what is a strong attack or what is a weak attack. Um, the only things that, like, give extended rage are, like, big attacks like those. The big finishers. But, like, simple strikes versus heavy strikes, it doesn't give you more rage. Um, but it actually heavily depends on what enemy you're fighting. Also, this is fixed.
Yes. Yes, very heavily hacked the game. It is like truly absurd how very off the map that whole shit is. Like, what's more is he selects new game. It didn't, and then it starts off with all the god attacks and shit. That's not the way it was supposed to go. I, I, I don't know, dude. Like, he has all of the god moves for one thing. Um, I don't know what category to do, that's fair. I mean, if you're not feeling well, there's nothing wrong with doing a relatively light category. Yo, a rainbow split. <laughs> Dude, once you get into KMS, you just cannot go back. Yes, I got that last one out. Ooh, I even got that one out. Fuck yeah, dude. Rock Midget. Ah, oh, dude. He's a he's a toughie for sure. I mean like I know like all I can tell you is you can't you can't give him time to summon anybody. Like aside from that I could like the only thing I would say is like, you know, watch my runs. It's pretty much the best information that you're gonna get. I hate this hitbox so much. That's probably actually better than, like, having to throw back the missiles and shit. For instance, I noticed that, like, throwing back the missiles during this fight actually sucks. You are far better off not having to deal with that. I don't know if it's worth all of that though, Jesus. By the way, I'm playing this with a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Through the clever use of Chronos Zen. Which I have the box for, but it's back there and I don't wanna go. I don't wanna reach for it, I'm so lazy.
So I did a run of this on hard mode for um, like parts one through three, which is the main game, but I also tacked on part four. And the funny thing is, is that it was the marathon that I was running and I didn't actually want to have a run in it, but we ended up in a situation where we needed to fill a bunch of time and I didn't really have a better option. Because I don't know, for me, <coughs> and maybe this is maybe this is a t uh, little bit too critical, but for me it feels kind of tacky when you're running an event and your run is in it. Is like that is like the ultimate in favoritism. It's like my run got accepted automatically because I said so. That right there is one of the few times in any of my speed games that I actually change how I hold a controller. Yeah, let's go to average, because I don't think a PB is going to happen today. I legit need to, like, grind this game again. It's sort of like how Rom Scout just magically always had a run in SGDQ when he was working with them. There's a lot of people that really fucking hated that. Next time. Like, this isn't the fucking Rom Scout show, my dude. God, the lag. Yeah. Also dodges. Dude, there's a lot of parallels between this game and God Hand, but that was entirely intentional. Like, Osara literally is, like, space future demigod gene. Vizen is basically Elvis. Yasha is essentially a Zell, except Yasha's not a prick. Oh, that did not happen the way I wanted it to. Wow. Yo, the fast strat is like, let me down. I'm not sure how he got staggered when he did. Will that do it? It did not do it. It's close though. That was pretty fucking sloppy on the second part. Yes. And I will say it again. Your 
daughter is devoted to the cause in order to save the world. There are certain certain speeches that you cannot skip. And I'm actually very appreciative of some of them. Like you can't skip Kauro's death, and I like that. So honestly, the first part of this fight would have saved a shitload of time if it weren't for how sloppy the second part was. So, the really upsetting thing about Osiris Wrath is that it plays considerably better on the PS3, but it loses, like, 20 minutes or so to, uh, bad loads. What now? You are a demigod just as they are. If you can accept their actions, perhaps you should let go and allow your soul to become one with Gaia again. So this is the first example that we're going to have of what I, I call focused anger. Um, all of my attacks on this big boy right here give lots of rage. Um, and that was not known the last time that I got a PB. Um, he's not the only enemy type that's like that either. There's specific enemies all over the place where it's like, you really want to slap this specific one as much as you possibly can because it just gives you so much juice. There we go, right across that half mark. Stop. This is one of those games, though, it's really upsetting when I mention to people, like, you know, a speedrun Osiris Wrath, and they're like, oh, that QTE simulator? Like, there's literally nothing else to it except for QTEs. What up, Razor? No. There's like literally no chance of PBing. I'm I'm not in practice enough for this one to do that. But uh for the moment I'm having fun. We'll see if I get to continue having fun when I fight the turtle. That fight just is terrible.
Also, I can do Osura's voice. I didn't I didn't do that during Save the Arcade Marathon though. Nice big chunky rainbow split. And that's just from the fact that I know to just slap the gorilla a bunch rather than do stuff that might kill him. There's a similar strategy, similar, similar strategy right here, but it's harder to do because, like, see, here's the thing, like, when we're optimizing stuff like God Hand, Bayonetta, uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, we're asking for a level of precision that these games really are not made for. Fuck. Um, and what I was trying to do right there was one such piece of precision. Well, fuck. Yes, that is what they're calling it now. That didn't hit him? Well, that sucks a bunch. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, dude. Come on. If you don't take this boy down before he gets to a certain point, then, like, the S-curves are so bad, you, you can't hit the gorilla for a while. Honestly, the hitboxes on projectiles in this game are pretty questionable in general. See, this is unfortunate because I just got forced into the center of the arena. But Osser is actually fast enough to get back to his face to do this big finish, whereas uh, Yasha is not. Please. Well, I didn't realize the leg was going to stop me like that. Um... So, funny enough, the, the adds that he spawns are worth far more rage than he is. Alright, man. Enjoy work. I know that you can't enjoy work, but give it a shot anyway. This sucked. There's there's really like no particularly good way to fight the turtle. Um if you get ridiculously lucky, you'll end up with unlimited mode while you've backed the turtle in the corner. But the unfortunate part is whenever he does that stomp QTE, it forces you into the center of the arena. And every time he spins, he gets away from the wall. So you're almost, you're almost guaranteed never to see, like, chain finishers on the turtle.
is too fucking warm in this room. Anyways, this is the final fight of this section. Oh, wow. Um, being slow on that QTE did actually uh, slow shit down for really, though. This whole section went really poorly. So when it comes to your uh, burst, the game doesn't really care how high or low the enemy that you're bursting on is. All it cares about is that your X value meets them. It's so like if you burst and dash at somebody that you just punched a hundred miles into the air, it really doesn't matter so long as you cross their, like, horizontal path. It is very, very warm in here. That fight went really poorly, uh, and we're definitely losing time here. You know, my current pace is a 159.17. What? How? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not anymore. That's fine. So, I was on PB pace there, I think, for a bit. Yeah, but, I mean, not by much, but still. So this section is extremely combat. Like, the whole thing is just, like, one giant gauntlet of combat. With, like, a light dusting of QTEs. So this section is not at all dangerous. You don't have to really worry about the dudes flying around you. The only thing that could really get you killed is if you just straight ignore these missiles. So long as you keep control of those, everything's fine. Yeah. 
I saw you, bitch. That was pretty rude. So it really that that's that really sucked. There was nothing I could do about that. Um, when when you catch the missiles, Asura tosses them into the into the battlefield, and it's supposed to destroy the larger ships in the background, and that gives you a shitload of rage. Um, but if you're extremely unlucky, then when he tosses the missile, it'll hit one of the little ships. They just happen to be in the way sometimes, and I think that that happened three times just now, um, which is really, really impossibly bad luck, almost. Like, one is really, really bad luck. Three is... Like, barricade your home. <laughs> Levels of, like, terrible, terrible luck. So it's worth noting that there are times like just now where you really don't want to do a uh, big finish if you don't have to because there is always a decent chance that you won't actually need to. Like, right there, it would have been considerably longer if I'd done a big finish right there. Okay, this sucks. actually would have been better if I had done the big finish right there. Sometimes it's hard to know. <sighs> the, like, combat-wise, the tech in this game is actually really interesting because not everything... Like, everything can be cancelled, but not everything can be cancelled by everything else. So like a dive roll can be canceled by a jump and basic attacks, but it can't be canceled by charge attacks. Charge attacks can be canceled by basic attacks and jumps, but not by heavy attacks. Things like that. Like there's a weird like web of what does and doesn't work. That should not have hit me. What? I didn't even realize that dude was there. This went really poorly. See, by the time a certain group of enemies is down, you really should have enough uh, meter to do this. Because this, this won't happen when you don't have enough meter. It'll just keep on spawning the little dudes. 
This is actually a relatively optimized section. Unless, of course, that happens. Oh my god. too far. Yeah. Oh, uh, this might actually save it. See, it's totally normal to get this guy over and over like this. I don't need to do another finisher, though I could. So right here, lag actually eats a lot of these B inputs. They're not necessary, but at the same time, it's like, I got nothing else to do. That section did not go well. Like, the, the giant golem went really well, but aside from that, it was kind of a disaster. Here's the shut up button. And now here's one of my favorite sections that you can't skip. Here we go. The English voices in this are so good. Yo, what's up, Doiler? Uh, I am pretty much guaranteed not to PB, but I am having a good time regardless. I'm not having a good time with the fact that it's too fucking hot in here, but aside from that, I'm having a good time. So I'm going to fail this QTE because I think it's funnier, and neither way changes anything. I'm also going to get full of rage by flashing this woman my junk, as is my want. I promise that women seeing my junk IRL does not fill me with rage. Unless you like it like that, in which case, please sign this waiver.
All right, we're about to get turtle part two. The second turtle fight really is as shitty or potentially even shittier than the first one. But this one, this section also has one of those larger gorillas to just slap around and get all that rage. It's very, very useful. There's certain QTEs like that one that gives you um, added rage for the upcoming section. God damn it. So these little slaps that they give you in the back, um, they actually interrupt a lot of things and make this a whole hell of a lot worse. Uh, all of those ones that bring up like a, a counter attack where it wants to bring up like a Y button on reaction, those are considerably worse as well because um, it actually eats your other inputs. And what I'm doing to cancel that combo is a, a dive roll. I can't do that when they do that. So it winds up causing attacks that I really don't want to have. Hello? How did that miss? Look at all this lag, isn't that delicious? Yes! No, why did we go to the body, dude? That's fine, whatever. Oh, that was weird. That actually went exceptionally well. That was almost certainly better than PB right here. Because we got, what, two, two chain finishers set up for a really, really good assist on the, on the uh, Rhino? Dude. This, like, never goes that smoothly. I may have saved like a minute or so on this shit. Maybe more like 40 seconds. Well, this. Still, that, that was huge. Absolutely massive. I'm on PB pace again. <laughs> I 
However, it's it's pretty easy to shit away PB right here because like either it goes perfect or it goes kind of shitty. Suddenly, the moon. That's time loss. I fucking love these QTEs, to be honest. That shit. That shit is hype. So this part of the fight is the exact same way. It, like either it goes perfectly and he just gets shredded, or it goes very, very badly. Show me what you're made of. Fuck the moon. This should be fine. Yeah. This is absolutely fine. Oh no, 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 dude, come on. Dude, are you serious? Lame. It doesn't matter if you do any of these QTEs. Like, nothing changes. But again, I've got nothing else to do, so... So, this fight, uncharacteristically, went sort of wrong, rather than completely wrong. my AC hasn't come on in like over half an hour. explosion off in the distance that we don't have to have anything to do with. Yo. Somehow that saved time. 
I guess I must have fucked that up on my PB. Which is weird because it's it's pretty easy to get it right. I literally named this split Walk Forward because I will often forget that this section right here even exists. And I'll just sit here and like mash the skip button. Good solo hit, I love it. Solo hit, dude, so good. My favorite facial expression in the game. Whoa. It's like a silly thing to have a favorite facial expression in the game, but like, it looks so dopey. And here comes the Naruto section of the game. It, like, I just, I can't see any of this part and not like, think Ninetales QB. Let's go. The AC did finally come on, but like it left me boiling for so long that I still don't really feel like it's done anything. So on, on easy mode, what you would do here is you would just like spam uh, charge shots, but you can't really do that on hard mode because these missiles will fuck your shit up. A single missile does not do much damage. As you can see right there, it really isn't all that threatening to get hit by a single missile, but man, when like when a volley of 12 hits you, you'll feel it. Also, this laser has a really weird hitbox that doesn't always work very well. As is normal though, the smaller ships, they just don't do enough damage to really matter. 
the most appealing thing about this run. It feels epic every fucking time. I would say for the most part, you're never you're never at rest during this run. There's always something going on. Well, I can tell you the reason the like the biggest thing that would keep me from recommending it to people is the buzz noise. But like there is enough like there's enough combat meat on the bones and like every like almost all of the combats feel completely different from each other. Like especially what's about to happen right now, the way the way that Yasha plays is so very different. And the way that he builds meter is similar in some respects, but extremely decent, uh, decently different in others. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. Get a nice solo hit. Yeah, the buzzing is pretty, pretty rough. This is going ridiculously badly. So like, notice how very little meter he gets for groups. I got like, the only, the only solo hit I got was that very first one. No, yeah, Yasha's combat is a lot more technical and way easier to fuck up, which I did a lot. I did a whole lot of fucking up. And then you get to hear fucking bangers like the one that's about to be coming through. By the way, for, for whatever reason, um, you can actually reduce lag by constantly throwing these little blade attacks. You would think that giving the game more things to track would cause lag, but actually what it's doing is it's taking just a little bit of CPU away from rendering things, so it just doesn't instead. Um, And, uh, so yeah, as much as you can, you really want to be throwing these.
Except for right here. Because we really want this. So doing this QTE prevents you from having to do a, a different combat right here that you would have to do in order to uh, open this door. But instead, we just did that shit. It's very, very useful. Could have gone a lot worse. I'll definitely take that. ships down, thanks. You really like fist and kick combat? Yeah, same. I do find sword-based games to be considerably less interesting overall, but there are a few standouts in the sword games category, like in GR. In GR is definitely an interesting one. That was an intentional avoidance of something that could have caused a QTE because it is not useful or necessary. What? That was so high in the air. Okay, if you don't kill him, there's a whole other combat there as well. When I yeah, when when you hit the cutscene skip button and you can't skip it. So there will be like sections of this game where I'll be, I'll I'll note that yeah you can't skip this cutscene yet you have to wait until a certain thing and you won't hear the buzzing until next to that moment. For whatever reason, when you do that, you save a few frames on that auto scroller. By the way, you can't even attempt to skip that cutscene right there. Pressing the cut the cutscene skip button right there does nothing. Doesn't even make the buzz noise. Mmm, discharge. So this is obviously supposed to give you the feeling that you fucked up. Like, oh no, I didn't do the thing in time, but it really doesn't matter. Um, if you look hard enough, you can in fact see Yasha on this screen. Oh, 
I'm not surprised that I'm losing time. I am, however, extremely surprised that we saw a 158 pace today and that I'm still on, like, I'm on PB pace right now. Like, that part surprises the shit out of me. So this chapter contains the dodge that, if you fail it, you save like 48 seconds. Uh, hello? Game, please. Well, for someone like you and me, yes, because, like, honestly, easy mode is no different aside from, like, how much damage gets caused to the player. Everything else is, exact is exactly the same. So all hard mode does to the run is it, it requires you to not get hit as much. So you have to approach the combats from a more technical point of view. You have to actually know what you're doing. Whereas on easy mode, any time that you get knocked away, you can just hold down the B button and just just charge in at all times. But this upcoming fight definitely 100% wants you dead on hard mode. The Nia, the Saya Asura fight. That one is rough. Remember that Yasha is left-handed. Nice. Not nice. If I'd had the mortal gauge on, that would have killed me. Which is bullshit because there's nothing I could have done about it. But yeah, right here, if you if you do this dodge right here, it leads to a dodge, it leads to a dodge, it leads to a dodge, it leads to a mash QTE that leads to another dodge. And then he's like, oh no, there's too many, and it leads to the exact same cutscene. So it's like very, very involved, a whole lot of extra bullshit that you just don't need at all. Dude, nice. You know, if I PB this today, I'm gonna fucking be ecstatic. So I'm gonna try something that I typically never do. Um, this is one of the few instances where your dodges actually give you meter in the upcoming fight, so I'm gonna do them. Uh, hello?
that really should not have happened that way, but okay. I thought I had the timing right. Welcome back. So this is one of the few areas where the unlimited mode feature does not actually protect you from damage. That was a bit on the sloppy side, but I'm not dead, so... So the strategy here for the longest time was to just go ahead and let Osara hit you. Um, not this time, this time is just free meter and the frame count is basically the same. Uh, the trouble here is that like, so Yasha goes under this monologue. Um, Every dodge that you do right here gives you more meter, and if you do all of them, then the moment that the fight starts, uh, Neo Osara or Saya Osara will, um, will immediately do a reaction QTE. I haven't, like, the part that I haven't, like, scienced is whether or not it's worth doing the dodges like if it if it saves time to do the dodges to get an immediate uh an immediate setup or if it's better to just get into the combat i'm not sure i i honestly don't know but i guess if i save any time right now we'll see Maybe I save time, maybe I don't, but that was pretty good. Another reason I would suggest this to somebody to pick up as a run is that I'm the only one doing it, so there's not a lot of competition yet. And dude, I like an Osiris Wrath race, like a good Osiris Wrath race would be fucking lit. I do not believe that my rainbow split on this segment is accurate. Wait, I'm already losing time against my PB? How? Yeah, there's no other runners for this except me. It's pretty sad. I need to look at my uh, PB for that. Cause that felt really, really solid, but I think I lost like 20 seconds. This next episode, this is where all of the, like, really, really, really bad time loss can happen. 
Like the the worst seg for this next segment is really, really, really terrible. In this thread, Gala picks up all of Zonasa's speed gains. Every single Zana speed gain, Gala's picking it up. And then I lose all my world records and cry. So right here, it's actually really interesting. This is where um, you find out that Asura's uppercut is actually two hits. And the reason that that's interesting is with that information, it's possible to uppercut and cancel so you don't instant kill these dudes. Otherwise, you instant kill these dudes. I canceled too soon, and it cost me. Solo hit. I dove away so I would actually be able to do that. Okay, so this hallway coming up is the real awful piece of shit. Cool, I didn't want my lock on to make any sense anyway. I mean, I have already informed her that I'm interested in picking up Bayo because it actually has like a decent combat. Uh, like like an amount of combat to other things is uh ninja ninja gaiden black like it looks like an interesting game at all but when i yeah dude frofro has pestered me so much about bay you, you wouldn't believe um back when i had like game requests set i don't i don't even remember how many points it was but when i had game requests on as a uh chat points reward he just put in bayonetta over and over I forgot what I was saying before that. Oh, Ninja Gaiden Black. So the, the combat in Ninja Gaiden Black looks really interesting, but like, I don't know, 70 to 80% of that game is running, jumping, climbing trees, and platforming is not my gym jam. So you can't skip this scene until Osura grabs uh, Deus by the neck.
Like, I still want to, like I said to Razor in, in TGD, like, I still want to get Ninja Gaiden Black because I, I would like to add to the effort of optimizing the combat. Um, but the truth of the matter is, I don't think that there's a whole hell of a lot of time left to gain just because there's not as much combat as there is just, you know, having good movement and jumping around and shit. So when it comes to fights like this, it's it's less about combat prowess and more about just like knowing when the boss has openings and when they don't. Uh, I fucked up really bad. So um that went like the like the first half of the fight went really poorly and then the second half went really 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 well. <laughs> Yeah, I really. Yeah, you too. Hey, could you make sure that the AC is like set a little bit more sensitive than it is right now before you leave? Cause it is fucking hot in here. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. I still can't believe I'm on PB pace at this point in the run. It's all going to come down to whether or not I can fight Vlitra with a shit. Vlitra is a weird fight. Basically, um, when Vlitra attacks and misses, it like staggers itself. Um, but if it attacks and doesn't miss, then it doesn't stagger. So getting hit like fucks you in multiple different ways. Get out of here. I threw something at you a long time ago. So this is going to be like one of the only times that we're going to have meter completely full well before we can actually use it. We're also soon going to have the only mash Y in the game. And that includes the DLC. There is only the one. Dodging is dumb. I got it backwards.
There it was. That's the only one. So this QTE right here, like the filters on these hands are so intense that on the Xbox 360, it's very, very difficult to get this mash QTE just because it'll only let so many buttons get through. There it goes. They're like there at the very end of the of the QTE. It'll actually let a decent number of inputs get through. But it's it's an interesting thing to have to learn how to do if you want to S rank all the chapters on the Xbox 360. Bruh, you fucking what, mate? How? That has to be wrong. <laughs> I don't believe it at all. Like, that hallway went well, sure, but... Dude, we are gonna fucking PB today. <laughs> but we'll see by how much. That's nuts. Am I about... If I, if I 158 this bitch today, uh... I just don't even know what I'll do with myself. This is going to be especially funny to me because, like, the literally the only reason I'm running this is because I was like, Hey, Gala, how would you like to see an Osiris Wrath speedrun? That's literally the only reason I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Like, you can't actually like collide with these walls. Also, these uh, these always come out in the opposite pattern of where they're gonna go. It's interesting to see people get like tripped up by that, but it's it's even sillier when they've been tripped up by it like three times, and then you you see them still trying to react to where they're going instead of uh, to where they right like to where they start rather than where they're gonna go. Like, damn, man. Learn this shit. That went way better than expected. Easy. 
It really is interesting when someone's seeing this for the first time and you're like, oh, we're about to fight Deus three times. They're like, three times? Why? That's a lot of times. Look, Deus is a character that just doesn't... He doesn't get the point. He did not listen the first time, and he will not listen the second time. But it's not being right now. Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a near-perfect fight, but I'm still happy with it. This is the more difficult one anyway. This is a mistake. Oh shit. Oh. See, Deus for whatever reason tries to counterattack um or not counterattack really. He he tried to defend against these and he does a really terrible job of it. It's like projectiles for whatever reason, he he's just he's just really, really dumb about them. So the third fight is actually super free. It's probably one of the easiest fights in the game. And it's because his um, his reaction command is, it just, you'll see. It lines everything up for you. You don't even have to work for it. Those filters, as you can imagine, create a lot of lag, so that's why I couldn't mash that section out very fast. This dude seriously is Space Ganondorf, though.
How could you possibly not love that? I may have fucked up. That's fine. So, this is the uh, QTE that he causes. Jesus, this is even faster than normal. Uh, seriously, dude? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was so weird. This is one-handed, by the way. Hello. I am confused as to how I lost time there. The first two fights were borderline perfect. And the third fight, like, yeah, I messed it up, but it still went really, really fast. Optimizing this section is really weird. Cause like you're trying to get the most out of all of the blasts that you throw on these uh, giant, I guess, what, what would you even call these? Comets, meteors? These giant, strange rock egg structures in space, whatever the fuck you want to call these. Um, as they pass, you want to get the most out of them as you can. It doesn't affect the final time of this segment too much, but it does affect it some, and that's enough reason for me to want to be more more precise with them. Dodges are for scrubs. So, those hitboxes are a fucking mystery.
I, I couldn't tell you at all where the hitbox is. I know how to avoid it, but only only because I know a method that works, not because I have any idea where the hitbox is. forget what direction that spin is in. Jumping in front of Yasha does not save anything. Um, it just introduces an extra animation where Oscar leaps in front of Yasha, it changes nothing else. Honestly, it's one of the things that I should have frame counted. Um, I need to go through this game and like really analyze like what animations save time or, or lose time in terms of the like micro changes in QTEs. You'd think that after all this time I would have done that, but I haven't. So the purpose of using limited mode or unlimited mode right here is to avoid like really the notion of having to avoid damage like trying to be evasive right here can be done it's not hard to avoid all of this it's just time consuming Of course, the lag hits like a freight train right where it matters. can be done. So the final like QTE sequence that that it officially ends the run is about a minute long, not not quite exactly a minute long, but it's about a minute long. So basically I have about three minutes in order to PB. It shouldn't even take that long. By the way, I'm being very risky by not pause buffering. Ah, that was bad. Ooh. That 
That QTE gives you almost no time to do anything. No. We just got a fucking. We just got a 158. Holy shit, dude. I. Uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I literally was like, oh no, there's no way a PB is gonna happen today. I was like 50 seconds behind. Talking about like, yeah, no, I'm just rusty as shit. Not gonna happen, no way in hell. How did this fucking happen? Like I even I even fell back as as much as 25 seconds again, dude. Oh, I was never 50 seconds behind. Okay, 37. That's still a lot of seconds. Especially to lose like look at this. Look at this act 1. Act 1 fucking time loss, time loss, time loss. Tiny little time save, time loss. 6 second time save and then bam, act 2. Massive, massive rainbow split, and then time loss, time loss, and then just like, yeah, I don't know, dude. That was a fucking awesome run. You know what the crazy thing about this is? Is like how easy it is. It's it's gonna be to uh, put this on the leaderboard because there wasn't any like attempts per se. I just I did a run. <laughs> Oh shit, no, Cronus Zen, don't fall down. No breaking shit, please. No breaking shit. I'm a sweaty fucking mess right now. I'll be right back. Is it really all over? Ugh. I don't know. Well, is your wrath gone? Let us go. Mithra is waiting. Release. But yeah, this game definitely needs more runners. And like, the funny thing is, is that, like, the technique side of this game is really, 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 really easy. Mithra. Like, I would, I'd be willing to bet that if I was to teach either one of you Fro Fro or Gala, I imagine I could teach you all of the necessary technique of this game in about an hour. Maybe, maybe two. Because, like, the technique of it is, is not a problem. It's, like, the, the more complicated part of this is the decision-making process while everything is going on. Just like in most combat-related speedruns, it's, it's not so much technique so much as it is adaptation. Yeah, th like, knowing what to do and how to do it is, is not complicated in this game. I would be willing to bet that if you if you were to just like slap Osiris Wrath in right now and just 
throw shit at the wall and do a run on easy mode, you'd probably get a 220 at worst. My second time playing this ever, my second time playing this ever, I beat the second fastest known time. And I literally had no fucking clue what I was doing. So yeah, it's a it's a really easy game to pick up. <laughs> yeah, dude, like you could do it you could do it real quick. All you need is a 360 and a copy of Osiris Wrath. Or well, I guess a 360, an Xbox One, an Xbox One S, an Xbox One X, or the Series S and X. Any of those would work. In fact, like because like I'm doing this on a classic Xbox. If I was doing this I say a classic, a 360, an old-ass 360 at that. If I was doing this on a better console, this probably would have had, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute more time save just from things not going wonky due to lag. Because seriously, this game lags like a son of a bitch on the 360. Like, funny enough, um, the QTE at the end of Lost Episode 1, which is a DLC episode, but the QTE at the end of that on Xbox One X, you can't do it. Because, presumably, they took into account that the game lags, and, like, the series of things that happens during that QTE are, are slower than they're uh, intended to be, and they put the QTE together with that in mind. But if none of the lag is there, you cannot do that QTE fast enough. It can't be done. Or I say it can't be done. If you get really, 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 really lucky and the button spread just happens to be a certain way, then it might be doable. But it is absurd how difficult it is. Also, in the section where, like, the laser grids were coming up, you will outrun the laser grids. So, like, the last two of them, you know, you have to, you don't even have to position yourself correctly. Because they're going to form up the laser grid, like, as you're passing that point. But funny enough, on the Xbox One S, it doesn't play any better than it does on a normal 360. But yeah, earlier when I was describing how the combat is, how there's like a weird spider web of things that do and do not cancel into each other, like realistically, you don't even need to learn that spider web uh, in, in order to do combat efficiently in this game. You only need to do what works. So like, you know, doing that normal, like catching an, a boss off guard, doing the normal combo, do, uh, doing the charge attack to put him in the air in the middle of the combo. That's just like basic ass shit and then you jump and catch them while they're in the air do your combo up there like it's just it's really easy to do once you've learned to do it the same thing is true about like deflect canceling in samurai western once you've learned how to do it, it, it it's pretty fucking easy to do it except for in that one boss fight where it's just like carpal tunnel city But apparently, Osiris Wrath has actually gotten relatively expensive. Somebody told me last time that they looked for it, it was... It was fucking pricey. $149? What? Dude, you can download it on Xbox Live. <laughs> Why? 
you couldn't you couldn't up until they added it on the backwards compatibility but once they added it on the backwards compatibility you can fucking buy it you can buy it on xbox live you don't need to do this why 149 who's selling this only one left in stock a g you're gonna have that one for a while 15 offers starting from 30. That makes a lot more sense. I bought mine for $15, so... That's dumb as shit. eBay, what do you have to say about Osiris Wrath? See, 30 bucks. That I mean, like, I would, I would do that. 30 is fine. 2450, that's fine. 18, that's fine. Not working, no manual. Not working. I wouldn't do that. Never mind. <laughs> Shipping from Canada. 1634. That's why it's a weird number. Someone's selling only the instruction manual for about 15 bucks. 